Students at Youngstown State always get a little nervous whenever the Finance Committee of the Board of Trustees meets during its spring meetings. That's where it's decided whether to raise tuition or not. Today, it was not. Here's 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith. YSU's new budget is about $5 million less than last year. And while there are some big changes, tuition isn't one of them. YSU will remain one of the most affordable universities in the state of Ohio as well as in the region. Um, we are not increasing uh, undergraduate tuition. That's good news for people attending the university. Like many students, Taylor Rhodes was already looking at a looming debt. It makes me extremely antsy. I'm actually going to start paying on my loans a little now because I don't want the stress of looking at the large amount after I graduate. So far, she owes about $11,000 for her education. She says the price freeze takes away some of her anxiety about the future. A lot better because um, since I moved down here, uh, of course, like I'm paying a lot more. Tuition at YSU costs less than most other state schools. There are 13 public universities in Ohio. Ten of them are more expensive than Youngstown. And costs at many of them have gone up. Students at Kent will pay about 2% more next year. YSU Vice President of Finance Neil McNally says he's trying to reverse that trend. Hold down uh, the price of tuition uh, and room and board where possible and make uh, college more affordable. Some students will pay more. Graduate students will see an increase of about 2.5%. McNally says that's because the school doesn't want those programs to seem too cheap. We want our, our graduate programs to um, be high quality and be perceived as high quality. And to do that, sometimes price correlates with that. Graduate students in the business school will see prices go up the most. Some fees in those programs are increasing by 25%. Also this year, the university is outsourcing the bookstore to Barnes & Noble. That will save about $5 million from the school budget. Reporting in Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.